What's up everybody? Welcome back to Second Chance. I'm Rudy and today I want to talk about one of the audiobooks I've mentioned in the past, Alcohol Explained. So in the book it goes on to talk about alcohol consumption and how it's made up of the chemical, uh, physical, uh, and psychological effects that alcohol does uh, to humans and the accumulative impact of these effects okay so yes there are organizations out there and rehab centers that can help people quit drinking alcohol but that doesn't work for everybody AA doesn't work for everybody okay uh, rehab centers not everybody can take 30 days or 60 days off work to go to an inpatient rehab facility right so Programs like AA, they're great, and I'm not knocking them down, but they're they're heavily religious based. Okay, God can't entirely save you from you being an alcoholic. Science cannot completely cure you from being an alcoholic. Okay, only you can cure yourself from being an alcoholic. Okay, it's also like they say that only you can't figure out or determine whether you're an alcoholic or not. Doctors cannot tell you you are an alcoholic. Not even AA can say you are an alcoholic, okay? Only you can determine whether you're an alcoholic or not, right? So you probably have a lot of questions, right? To understand how the alcohol trap works, you need to understand how addiction in general is basically years and years of abuse and repetitive behaviors, right? I'm offering a simplified solution based on my own 20 years uh, of research and personal experiences, okay? So if you're still drinking and, and you know, you feel like you need to stop now, you don't have to, okay? But if you have already quit or abstained for longer longer than a day, then stay that way and don't start drinking again, okay? Keep watching my videos. Go pick up one of the books I mentioned in the past, Easy Way to Control Alcohol or Alcohol Explained, okay? So, once you realize that you have been brainwashed for so long, it's a lot easier to undo the, the addiction, okay? So ask yourself this, what about, what about alcohol do you really enjoy? Is it the taste? Is it the smell? Is it the hangover? Is it the puking? Or is it the roller coaster of emotions that alcohol makes you go through while you're poisoning yourself, okay? So because I know for damn sure that it's not the puking. I know that it's not the long-term depression. I know that it's not the guilt, the regret, or the rage that keeps you coming back. I know that you feel helpless and I know that you can't control your drinking, but there is a way and there is an answer, okay? So, before you take that next drink, ask yourself, is this poison worth it? And I think you already know the answer.